Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to do percent change in SQL. Here is the formula we're going to use, and I have two examples to show you how to use it. We just talked about what the formula is. Let's see the formula work in just select statements. So select some kind of new value, original value, divided by the original value, and then times it by 100. When I execute this, notice the value goes to zero. And it goes to zero because these are integers. And the integer mathematics produces an integer. And this value is less than zero when we start with. But if I cast this to a float, the whole equation becomes a float problem. And we get the fraction. And of course, if we come out with float notation, we stay inside of that for the entire equation. And there you have that. Let us first do a little data discovery so we know what the data looks like. And notice that we have from year 1999 to 2017, and some event took place and the number of people that it affected was 3,059 in 1999. And you see the different numbers and they increase. It looks like they uh, kind of like go back in 2017. But this is going to be our data. And I have all the data for the entire United States. So now we're going to go figure out the percent difference between this number to this number. And we're going to do a self join. Let's see that. So there are two things to teach you in this SQL statement. First, we have our equation as percent change. Notice num of events in B minus num events in A. So that's the top part of that equation. And then I divide it by the number of events. Well, number of events is this is the original, and then this is the one in the future. And then notice I'm using the A version of that, so I'm using the original. Then I times that by 100, and then I alias that as percent change. Now the complicated part of this SQL statement is this join. Notice that I'm joining the same table. And the join is kind of, I wouldn't say funny, but it's a little funny. Um, let's see the output of this function, SQL statement. Let's make sure we understand this left join. So let's look at the original thing. I said select star from sample data where state is Florida. Notice 1999, 3059, 2000, 3265. So when I said a left join on this date, I'm actually going to go and join this line to this line. See the year plus one? And then on the next, when it starts looping over for the next one, 2000 to 2001. And you can see here that in the output, I said uh, year, the year, and then the year, and I'm getting the same value. Do you see that? Plus one. Then the reason why I'm using this left join is notice that when I get down to the bottom, 2017, there is no 2018. 2017 is my last line of data. But on line 10 where I say on year plus one, notice there is no plus one for 2017. And that is why I had to do a left join because this would not join there is no data. That's why we got the null values. So let us look at percent change. We have the original, this column, and then the, you know, in the future, this column. So how would we do that? What is the math? So we uh, do the first number, 3265 minus 3059 equals, that's this number minus that number. And then we say uh, divide it by this first number, 3059. And that equals uh, 0 0.067. And then we times that by 100. 
and that gets us 6.73 and that is what our number is there. So our math does line up correctly. You see our join, it's a left join. We have this down here to prove that. And there you have it team, that is the percent change example one. In programming, there's always a hundred ways to do the same thing. And it's no different in SQL Server. Notice we're gonna solve the same problem just in a different way. Notice I'm creating a temporary table and then I'm gonna insert into that temporary table with the select statement. And that select statement does the left join. We learned that in the last video. But I'm not gonna do the math of the percent change. I'm only gonna cast the values as float. When it came from the table, these are integers. When I put them in here, they will be floats. A little different there. And then I'm gonna update that table. I'm gonna set percent change equal the equation that we just learned. And then I'm gonna select star from that table and I'm gonna order it by the year. So let's see this thing run. Execute and and there we have the year, the year start number, and then the second year and the stop number. So this is my range from 3059 to 3265, and there is the percent change. And there you have it team, the second and final example.